I talk about love. Grammy-winning songwriter and producer P.J. Morton has written and produced songs for top artists such as India R.E., Music Soul Child, and Men of Standard. Now he's written a book called Why Can't I Sing About Love? Some churchgoers believe you can't sing R and B on Saturday and praise God on Sunday. They were just saying things like, you know, that music isn't of God, or you should use your gift for God. It tried to make me feel like what I was doing, or when when I wrote a love song, it somehow wasn't worshiping God. I think when we go for the sound and not so much the godly perspective is where it's dangerous. I don't think there's any limits on gospel music, rock, hip hop, that are, as far as the feel or the influence. But the godly perspective is what's the important part, and I pray that that continues. But if you're singing secular lyrics, um, who's being edified? You gotta ask yourself who's being edified, who's being glorified, and uh, you know you gotta really ask yourself those questions. I write with the same spirit, whether it's gospel or R&B, a love song or a gospel song, a worship song. It's all coming from a pure place for me, which which is my heart, you know, and um, and and inspired by God. Gospel is like straight up the message of Jesus Christ, and uh, inspirational is. <laughs> spiritual yet not biblical, tapping into their spiritual side without really acknowledging Christ. PJ struggled internally on which road to take, gospel or R&B. I was a big fan of Stevie Wonder and uh, I just felt like it was something spiritual about that and I, I, I couldn't imagine that God was uh, uh, displeased with his music. I knew this was what I wanted to do. Um, but I didn't have the word to back me up. Solomon asked God for wisdom in, in 2 Kings, and, and, um, and God blessed him with a thousand uh, and five songs. The pressure to sing gospel was even greater for PJ, because he's the son of not one, but two mega preachers. Together, PJ's father, Bishop Paul S. Morton, and his mother, Deborah Morton, pastor a congregation that stretches from Atlanta to New Orleans. Um, as a kid, I, gospel music was um, what was uh, closest to me. And um, growing up as a pastor's kid, um, you kind of got the idea that it was wrong to do anything else outside of that. At age 14, with tears in his eyes, PJ finally approached his father. It was a shock at first because this is my only son. I only have one son. And so I just thought that he would follow in my footsteps. But then I, I began to realize, hey, everybody has to do what they are called to do. A gospel artist himself, Bishop Morton, believes that there is a place in the church for love songs. When you are with uh, your spouse, uh, you just, just some songs you don't want to hear. I mean, I, I love Amazing Grace, but when I'm with my wife, it's not Amazing Grace. Come on, give me a love song. Let's be for real. But there are still many skeptics within congregation. <laughs> Ty Trebek, a Sony gospel recording artist and former R&B artist himself, has a message for PJ. You can't do both. I did do secular music for, for a while, but my lifestyle was so contradictory to the lyrics we were supporting, or the, the, the acts we were supporting, that it, it couldn't last, one had to go, you know. Gospel means good news. Gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news of Jesus Christ. Uh, R&B means rhythm and blues. That's kind of contradictory in itself. The Bible says no man can serve two masters, even though that scripture is talking about no man, God and money. But uh, just that principle, no man can serve two masters, you gotta love one and hate the other. At some point, you're not gonna be comfortable doing both, and I couldn't. It's always funny to see that, you know, but I, I feel sorry for the people usually more than the person that they're outcasting because they're the ones who are missing out on uh, how big guy can really be. I did it though. I sung with every hip hop, art, well, most of the hip hop R&B artists, especially from Philly, Jill Scott, Flowetry, the Music Soul Child, uh, 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 Missy Timberland Common. I was like, yo, we're going to be a light in the midst of darkness. He said, man, you can't be no light doing what they do. You can't be a light doing what they do. I would feel it in my heart. If I was going too far in a song, God would be like, you know, I don't want you to say that. I don't, I don't think you should say that. Religion won't do that for you. Religion will just say black and white, you know, this is wrong and that's right. Uh, but relationship will say, okay, you can do that because, because you know who I am and you know where we are in our relationship. PJ argues in his book that the issue of non-sacred music has pushed Christian artists away from the church. I think it's limiting yourself to say that God is only big enough 
uh, for me to talk directly to him. I can't talk about anything, uh, any other subject. So are you telling me about relationship or religion? Is that some new revelation or just what you've always done? His message. Raise that guilt uh, that's associated with uh, secular music. This is God's music as well. I want to get R&B music back to, back to love. Things you can listen to with the family. You are created from love. TJ Holmes, CNN, Atlanta. So why can't it get spoken of?